Hey YouTube, it's me, it's your life, I'm Captain. Today I'm going to be sharing the top tweets with you for this week, April 10th. Uh, we'll start off with one called Arrow. It's $1.99 in the Mod My Eye repo. And what it does, it just adds a little bit of a different way to multitask. And you can set it to uh, several different animations here you see. This is the settings for Arrow. And I have my activation set to double tap the status bar. And you see when I double tap it, it opens up the applications that are currently open. And I have the wheel selected. So let's go in and change this animation from wheel, let's say, uh, cover flow. Double tap. Now you see we get the cover flow effect. And... If we wanted to open any of these applications, we simply would just tap on the one that we were looking for, and we can do that. Uh, it adds a few more uh, features. You can turn the half big icons or small icons, just make them bigger. The, you can change the background from the uh, showcase to linen. Let's change that. Now let's see how it looks. All right, you see we've got much bigger icons. And the background has changed somewhat. That's Arrow. It's a dollar ninety-nine in the Mod My Eye repo. Up next is Curiosa. This is a free tweet from Ryan Patrich, and you will have to add the Ryan Patrich repo in order to get this tweet. But I will include that repo in the description so you can find it. What this does is it allows you to get your Cydia updates right inside your notifications, okay? Here's what they look like right there. I have mine set to, to show me the updates after I respring or turn the phone off and on. And that's one of the uh, settings that you have that it offers. Let's go under Curiosa, under the settings menu, and you can see I have mine set to automatically refresh right after a respring, and you can set that to check every hour, two hours, six hours daily, manually, or after respring. I've got mine to set after respring, and you can require Wi-Fi, but you know, it's really up to you. That's not a big deal. You can set your activator to refresh. I have mine set to double tap the home button. So when I double tap the home button, well, actually, I have it set to, uh, let's change that. I don't need that set like that. I've got this set for something else. Uh, let's set slide gesture from top left, drag onto screen from top left. Okay, some of these, uh, some of these are a little bit tricky, so let's just keep it at double tap. Well, either way, Curiosa, all it is is a, a way to see your updates from, uh, Cydia, and I have a total, complete review of it if you want to check that out. Up next is SMS timestamp on your text messages. And this is something that we have needed for a long while. And you can see what it does right here is it simply just adds the date and time of your text. So I can do a test and send it. And you'll see that it puts the date, April 10th, 6.14 p.m., right in there. Pretty good tweak. That one is free as well in the Big Boss repo. Up next is one called Useful Cons in the Mod My Eye repo. This one is 99 cents. All right, let's go into Settings. Useful Cons. It calls it Useful Cons Prefs in the Settings. And you can see right here, you can enable or disable whichever uh, icons you want to display. I like the flashlight, voice, or Siri right on the springboard as well. Let me show you what they look like. Right here they are. All right, you can turn on, turn off your flashlight right here. Uh, you can respring. You can have Siri right on your springboard if you want to do that. Uh, you can enable, disable 
Wi-Fi, and I really like having the lock feature right on the springboard. That's something that's been needed for a long while. Um, I don't really like having to push the sleep button to lock my device anyway. Last is Fusion, and it's in the Big Boss repo for $2, but this is two tweaks combined, and they what they do is they incorporate Cydia. I'm not Cydia, Siri. It's called Fusion, and what it does is it allows you to update four different social media, Facebook, Twitter, Foursquare, and MySpace, from one location. And you can set this to an activator of anything you want, and you can see right here I've got it enabled, and you compose text. Here's, here's where you set your activator, okay? I have mine set when I slide my status bar to the right, it was supposed to compose the text that way. Okay, let's see if we can do it now. Maybe I've changed something that I don't realize. Okay, there it is. Now, when you swipe your status bar, that's what I've got mine set to, to the right. And say I wanted to just say hello. All right. Now, I can tap that little button right there, that little icon, and it shows me each of those different social medias. If I didn't want to include it on Foursquare and MySpace, I would just uncheck it. Uh, if I want to include it on Facebook and Twitter, then I would just make sure my check mark was on there, hit send, and it's on its way. One of the, one of the great things about this tweak also is it shows you the number of characters that you have used in your tweet right here like twitter only allows 140 characters it keeps count of that pretty good tweet guys and it also last but not least it includes siri and the way that it does this let me show you go into settings go to siri and it's just got some stuff to read there quick compose activator and what you do is when you open siri you can say Post to Facebook, Twitter, blah, 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 hello, and it'll do that for you. And it has to it has to also download assistant extensions as well when it downloads this Fusion tweak, so keep that in mind. So there you go, guys. There are five awesome tweaks this week. Check them out. Don't forget to come over to iPhoneCaptain.com. Hit that subscribe button and keep coming back.